if it was really true that just overweight people with bad diets developed atrial fibrillation, then that would mean you wouldn't see it in people who are not overweight, who don't have high blood pressure, who don't have diabetes, and don't have sleep apnea. And yet we do. We do sometimes see this in younger individuals in their 20s and 30s, also clustering in families. And we do know there is a genetic component to atrial fibrillation, not hereditary in the sense that people are born with it as a child, but there are families where people get it in their 20s and 30s or are more likely to develop it. So I do think that there is sometimes a genetic component where certain individuals from certain families are more likely to develop atrial fibrillation, but it's still an interaction between their environment and certain of these other risk factors that we talk about along with genetics. So there is that.